BYD's major battery supplier. I know it sounds crazy. BYD is a battery supplier. It's the second biggest battery manufacturer in the world, but they do source batteries as well. Their supplier, Lead Intelligent, is now manufacturing a lot of solid state batteries. In fact, they have a production, production line capable of manufacturing five to eight gigawatt hours per line. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. And we've just found out that in the last, well, companies in China have said, several car companies have said that in 2027, you will be able to buy electric cars from them with solid state batteries. China's lead intelligent, a supplier of battery production equipment, has reached an industrial scale milestone in solid state battery manufacturing with production lines capable of producing five to eight gigawatts per year. In a recent interview, Chairman Wang Yangqing said the company's latest equipment covers the full battery production chain and it supports industrial scale production of next generation solid state batteries for electric cars. I'll provide you with some details, but first of all, these batteries have an energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram and BYD's blade batteries have an energy density of 165 watt hours per kilogram. In other words, if BYD said to you, you can now buy a BYD seal for an extra $10,000 with the solid state battery from our battery partner, then if you got the same size battery, in theory, if they put the same size battery in, well, you'd have a range of probably over 1,200 kilometers. So, you know, more than 700 miles. Now, of course, those are just estimates and it's not an exact figure. Uh, you Realistically, you probably wouldn't do that. You just put a smaller battery pack in and you'd still get more than you know, more than 500 miles of range easily, even with a smaller battery. Then the car would be lighter. BYD's cars or all EVs are always too heavy, in my opinion. They're all heavier than, most of them are heavier than the competition. Uh, that's just a fact. And so this would help BYD to make their cars much lighter. Energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram is good. Many manufacturers say that they have solid state batteries that they're putting into production in China with an energy density of about 400 watt hours per kilogram. But some are trying to push beyond this. In fact, some are pushing well beyond this up into the 800 level. Technical figures for the production equipment in China for BYD supply include dry electrode coating speeds of approximately 80 meters per minute for anodes and 60 meters per minute for cathodes with film widths up to 1000 millimeters and thicknesses from 40 to 300 micrometers. I can go on with all these details. A lot of this is just public information. Car News China has published this information. Heaps of like technical details on their solid state batteries, production lines, what they do, what they manufacture, each process, etc., etc. I would encourage you that if you believe Toyota and Nissan, yeah, they claim their EVs within a year or two, they've been saying this for a long time now, will have solid state batteries providing massive ranges. I'm curious to know why Chinese companies are being very transparent about their technology, saying this is what it is, this is how it works, this is how production line works, this is how much we can put through the production line, these are the millimeter thicknesses, all these details. But why are we not getting any of that kind of information from Nissan or Toyota. If you want transparency, you're not going to find it from these Japanese manufacturers, unfortunately. It's just the truth. And the thing is, it's really weird because Toyota has been saying that their EVs would have solid state batteries since 2014. In 2014, they said their EVs would have them in 2018. And they kept on pushing it back and back and back and back. But still, we still don't know the real details in what is in Toyota's solid state batteries. Yeah, we know the chemistry, but really... We don't know anything other than that. We don't know energy density. I don't even know. I don't even know if Toyota knows what it is. So anyway, getting back to BYD's supplier, right? These guys are saying that um, they're aiming for 400 to 700 watt hours per kilogram in future vehicle app. So basically, they're saying that right now their energy density is around 350 to 400 watt hours per kilogram, but they can get to 400 to 700 watt hours per kilogram in the next few years. Now, assuming that they can, let's say they get got to even 500, that's still triple the energy density of today's BYD's blade, BYD blade battery, triple. I mean, you know, in let's say you went out and did something crazy, you put the same size battery, and let's say you put an 80 kilowatt hour battery in your BYD C-Line 7, um, you'd be looking at a range of probably 1,500 kilometers. I don't think you'd want to do that. It's stupid. You'd probably put a much smaller battery, but the point is this is going to happen. 
I know it's been taking a while, but it is going to happen. And this is going to annihilate internal combustion. There'll be some diehards that want internal combustion, but keep in mind, the big problem is going to be gas stations will shut down. Petrol stations will shut down all over the world because there just won't be enough demand for it. Very quickly, we'll move away. We'll move away from, remember we were using these massive mobile phones that are like the size of a suitcase and computers. Every, everything is changing very, very quickly. And even though it's hard for our brains to kind of comprehend that, this is going to blow away, blow out, really get rid of gas stations and petrol stations. And the move to electric cars will be incredibly, incredibly fast. Now, I should mention as well, CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, they have a five gigawatt hour solid state line already in operation, preparing ramp up. And there are numerous battery companies in the world now that are kind of at that level where they're right on the precipice. We know that solid state batteries are being tested in several different manufacturers' cars, including Mercedes-Benz, Cherry, uh, also we know that Samsung solar state batteries are being tested right now in electric cars. In fact, have been tested for more than six months. So it's really very, very close to that point where we do see them in EVs. Several brands have said that in late 2026 and in 2027, other brands have said their EVs will have solar state batteries. Now, I'm not referring to Japanese automakers with their kind of nonsensical claims because they've been saying it for years. I'm referring to companies who are actually being serious about it because they have their own solid state batteries. I mean, Cherry have their own solid state batteries that they actually have disclosed information on those batteries. We know how they work. We know, they're in, we know they've been testing. We know they aren't um, based on hopium. They're actually the real deal. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.